we're in Bath. It's the evening. We've booked a session in Ferme Spa and I'm really excited. CSI Mevagissi. This is a heated rooftop bath. Is that right? Swimming pool, Swim yeah. So yeah, it's pool. heated by one of the thermal springs. They take that water and it's pumped around a couple of swimming pools. One is indoor, one is outdoor, I believe. Okay. There's some other treatment spa opportunities. There's a sauna, hot room, and an ice room as well. Um, there's been mixed reviews online about this place. Right, there? yes, there has. Yeah, some people say it's absolutely fantastic, and other people says, say it's completely it's the opposite. It's yeah. terrible and to avoid. But we want to come and make up our own opinion. Yeah, so let's go and visit. Here's some of the reviews in the meantime. Unique experience. Overhyped. Dirty and unsanitary. Out of order. Overpriced and crowded. And my personal favourite, cowboy outfit. Don't waste your money. What I found really interesting though is when you look at those TripAdvisor comments, yeah. there's a huge variety on there, isn't there? They go from one all the way to five and everybody seems to have a different opinion. Ferme Spa scores four out of a possible five stars on TripAdvisor so everything seems to be going okay. But let's take a closer look. The spa gets plenty of reviews ticking through. For the past six months, 127 reviews have been posted with an average score of just over three stars. So is it world class or is it a rip-off? Let's find out. Therme Spa is a unique experience in the city of Bath. It uses the natural hot spring water to heat two pools, one of which is a rooftop pool. It's promoted as a luxurious and relaxing spa. We paid £41 each for two hours in the building and this includes getting changed. It's monitored by a wristband issued on entry. If you spend in the cafe, you get an extra 30 minutes. Unfortunately, we arrived at 6 o'clock and the cafe shut at half past 7, so we didn't have an opportunity to use the cafe. Got my, got my camera back anyway. God, I, felt, I felt naked without my camera. I know. It's a bit weird, isn't it? I felt naked without my phone. We need to explain that there is no mobile phones, no cameras, no photography. Very, very strict. You have to put your phone in a pouch. It's locked. So, because there's no phone policy, you need to put your phones in here, and then lock them, put them in the lockers, and then if you bring it back, we'll be able to open it using this so you can get your phone back. Right, okay. Um, yeah, and we were kind of aware of that from the information on the website, mm. but we kind of thought that they might not be so strict with it, but they no, really but they are. No, but they're 100% rigid really with are. it, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. And you even asked the front desk about that, didn't you? And you said, well, yeah. is it possible to have a photo up on the, on the rooftop area? Okay. Are there any official photos that you do? Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Nothing no at all. No cameras whatsoever. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough, okay. Nothing at all. So any internal shots that are in this video are actually taken from Ferme Spa own promotional video which is running in the reception area. Now let's take a look at those TripAdvisor comments in a bit more detail. Common threads of the negative reviews are that it's dirty, poorly maintained, overcrowded, has lewd behaviour and is overpriced. So let's take a look at the first one. Is Ferme Spa dirty? Ash S 1990 says absolute ripoff, dirty, overcrowded, the pool stunk, couldn't explain the smell. Penny in January 2023 says the place needs a bloody good clean. She begs management to please clean the place. Laura J posted a review in November 2023 saying the spa was dirty and unsanitary. In her review she says the changing cubicles were in dire need of cleaning. We attempted to use two but moved to a third due to the accumulated detritus, human hair, old plasters, face wipes in the cubicles. The way you get changed, it's a unisex area for getting changed. Mm -hmm. You have little, they're like, um, they're sort of, if you go to a public swimming baths, it's just sort of little cubicles where you can yeah. lock the door, that type of thing, yeah. isn't it? So, um, cleanliness in there, what did you think? 
I was dubious. I, I, I found little bits of paper that was quite scummy under my feet. It was a lot of gravel from shoes. I mean, you're going to get that, aren't you? Because it's a damp environment and people are going in with outdoor shoes on. Having said that, look at the ground here. It's dry. Yeah. So imagine what it would be like on a wet day. Yeah. Um, in fairness, there were people in there cleaning. I saw attendants in there mm. and they were... they were Squeegeeing the yeah, floors, squeegeeing. And it, particularly in the shower area. Yeah. So let's move on. Is the spa poorly maintained? Jay Haller left a review in January 2023 giving Therme Spa two stars out of a possible five. Their headline, Out of Order. Therme Spa is out of order as a business and most things are out of order. In September 2023, Chloe B says a similar thing, out of order. I couldn't count the number of out of order stickers we saw across the floors during our visit, from lifts and lockers not working, to some infrared lamps in the sauna, and the beds in the space lounge not working. The whole spa needs a revamp. There's also comments about the showers not working, and the lifts seem to have been out of order for quite a long time. But what was our experience? So before we even get to the swimming point, there's a couple of things to note. You've got very sophisticated electronic lockers. Yeah, so um, you're issued with a blue band, yeah, and it's a smart band. band, they call it, isn't it? Yeah. And it basically, it will lock your locker for you. But times you in to start with. Yeah, times you in, yes, right. Then you have to present it to a pad near your locker, and it automatically locks your locker and will only then unlock the locker with your wristband. Yeah, and they also said to us if you buy food in the cafe there or a drink or whatever, yeah. it charges it to the wristband. Yes, yeah, so it's all very clever. However, the downside to that is a lot of the lockers that we tried, and it was a lot, wasn't it? It was five, six, seven of them in a row yeah. were not working. No, and they have got labels on to say they're out, out of, order. of order. But, um, and first of all, you put our items yeah. in one that was out of order. Once you shut the door, it had an out of, yeah. out of order. So it took it all out again yeah. and put it all in another locker. And then we realised it wasn't just the one locker, was it? It was quite a few. Yeah. That's another thing, showers are broken. Only cold water in the showers that you use to actually, after you've been swimming. Yeah, so the, 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 the shower that you shower. use just, well, you know, just before you fresh, you know, when you freshen up to come out, that one was, was cold water, it said. And we, he did tell us that at the, the front desk, to be fair. Uh, the showers here at the moment are having problems, the showers are cold, so if you do end up uh. using them, just. Oh, okay, wary. right. The actual showers you would use to rinse yourself before you got dressed again, they were broken. <laughs> What you need to consider is on lots of levels. Yes. Now, there are lifts in there, but <laughs> there's two lifts that we counted. One's broken. One is out of order, so you've got one lift servicing everybody on all the yeah. floors. So yeah. most people were having to use the stairs. Fermi Spa welcomes about 270,000 visitors annually who spent over £11 million pounds to the year end June 2023. Its profit was over £2 million before taxation. This information is taken from their latest set of accounts to June 2023, which is publicly available on Companies House website. Within the last set of accounts submitted to Companies House, management considers the biggest risk facing the business to be the age of the facility and plan to continue investing in updating and improving facilities within the building to maintain and improve the visitor experience. So let's move on to another common thread of the comments. Is it overcrowded? What was our experience? Our first experience, we went up to the rooftop, felt beautifully warm, and it's so buoyant. You get in and you immediately float, don't yes, you? Yes, yes. And there's two bubble spas, one in each corner and a, a fountain that you can go under. Nobody was swimming, it's purely social, yeah. isn't it? And it's um, it's a reasonably decent space up there. The lighting yeah. is nice. We, yeah. we've, we've chosen an evening swim and it's January. Yeah. And it's it was, actually quite mild. It it's about really 12 nice. degrees and it was lovely up there, wasn't it? I reckon it was, it's quite busy. The but, rooftop pool, I counted at one stage 60 people up when it started to feel a bit Yeah, cramped. it did feel a bit cramped. I'm, I must admit, in one or two of the quieter corners, I was dubious about what was going on with the couple. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I swam the other way. <laughs> and there have been comments about lewd behaviour in the pool left by others. And Truffle said, lots of couples wrapped around each other, kissing. Sonia W gave her experience one star and said, terrible. There were far too many people and there was very much extreme heavy petting taking place, which made us feel very uncomfortable. And Luce81, writing in January 2023, 
says it's the most unrelaxing experience in a glorified leisure centre. She goes on to say it's like a scene from Love Island. The place was full of couples being overly amorous. It was incredibly uncomfortable. I guess the next time I see a sign saying no overly amorous behaviour, I should be warned. But that is exactly what goes on. She finishes off by saying, I do not want to go to a swimming pool and see other people's bums everywhere and sleazy men lounging around staring at them. One of the important things to consider when you're here, it's on lots of floor levels. Oh, I think there were yeah. six in total and it's a little bit weird if you haven't sort of experienced it. So mm -hmm. most people most people will go at, well there's two pools first of all there's a rooftop pool yeah which obviously is right up on the top floor the, uh, the one you can see behind us is the ground floor then there's an upper ground floor that's yeah. below and a lower ground floor which is the lower pool yes and that's the bigger pool it's called yeah. the Minerva pool it's got a fantastic river run I enjoyed that yeah I enjoyed both of the pools I certainly did yeah. enjoy both of the pools yeah. and it, 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 the one thing you notice is the water's very warm yeah um, there's no smell of chlorine or anything no. like that. It's not like a conventional swimming pool. You can pretty much float in the pools. Yeah, there's steam very buoyant, rising. Very buoyant. Yeah, and as you said, that Minerva pool, which is one on the basement level or the lower level, you've got a lovely sort of river, river run. run. You can just float. You hardly have to skull yeah. even to keep yourself floating. Yeah. To you. It's That's amazing. It. It's an evening in January, so you'd expect it to be quiet anyway. There was about probably about 30 people that in the pool Minerva pool. That pool was obviously quieter. After testing each pool we went to find all the treatment rooms and they were good fun weren't they? Yeah. On floor two are the treatment rooms so you've got the Roman steam room, Georgian steam room. Yes, similar in a way. Just has brighter light through Georgian looking windows which I found a bit underwhelming after going in the Roman one. I prefer the Roman one, it's warmer lighting and like a warm white yeah. whereas the Georgian room was a bright white, blue white wasn't yeah. it? Um, I think I described it to you as being in a fish and chip shop in a church. Yeah. No? Okay. Oh, perhaps it's just me. Yeah, there was an infrared room. Which is like a sauna. Yeah. It was clear um, and there was no steam in that room. It was very, very hot. Yeah. And then there was an ice room. Yeah, that was So fun. you could pick and choose whatever you wanted there. And the, the fifth room on that floor was, was a the celestial, celestial room. relaxation room. Yeah, which is quite an experience. Concrete. Well, they were tiled concrete loungers yes. with lights in the ceiling but they to resemble stars. Were mosaic. Yes, a screen in front of you giving all like a, a Hubble spacecraft images. Yeah. Most weird. And yeah. that room isn't warm at all. After making the video, we found out that the mosaic beds in the celestial sky room are meant to be heated. We don't know if they were turned off or if they were broken when we visited. So we've so got five rooms. Your favourite? Um, I liked the um, the Roman Roman steam, steam room, room for me yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. That was good. So we just stood outside the building, taking various shots. This is the closest you're going to get to filming our experience. <laughs> and we can see the trolleys full of dirty, wet towels and robes. Mm. And that reminds us there is nothing, nothing that identifies your robe. They are all white. All of the towels are white. Yeah. And you've literally got to hope that your towel is there. Yeah. So when you go around, if you're in the on the rooftop yeah. swim, they've got little. I'd, I'd call them like a, a cubby hole. Yeah. Like they're a little just square, aren't open they? Open wire. And they're on cubby trolleys, holes. I think, and they take about 16, I think, accounted there. Little, yeah. Little sort of squares, and you can obviously put your towel and robe into those. But there was four trolleys all the way around at yeah. different places and, and people you can were see just that people dumping them on top weren't yeah. they yeah. and it was a really bizarre thing that you don't know where your towel's going to end up I did hear one woman say she'd left a blue band in her robe oh uh, yeah um, so then what do you do how do you get in your locker yes yeah um, I actually thought those robes were quite comfy but you, you said yours wasn't Oh, I think it's just because you have to, uh, we wore it as we walked around between all the floors and as you can see, I'm going to turn the camera around, the stairs here, I don't know if it's, if you can see it, but you can actually be seen, these are the stairs that you use as you navigate your way around yeah. the building and they are open to the public and I don't want to be walking up and down no. in my swimming costume, not at my age anyway. <laughs> So I was wearing my robe, and as I was wearing my robe, the water from my costume was getting the robe wet, and then it does cling to you and it drips all down the back of your legs. <laughs> and finally, let's consider, is the spa overpriced? So it was £41 
superb person for an hour and a half swim. You never told me that. Would you go back? Um, I would. You'd pay another £82 tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. <laughs> no, because I would have to save up for that. Um, no, it's a treat. It's a treat. If you're in Bath, and you, this is the only way of taking the Roman baths. Yeah. Effectively, is what you're doing. It is it? unique you are bathing to swim in, the water. in the waters of Bath. And I think as an experience, I would do it again. Um, but I probably wouldn't do it for another 10 years. It's not something I would come and do every week. For me to do it again, I want things working. I want the wristbands working. I want the lift working. And I want a hot shower at the end of it. That's mm -hmm. ridiculous. So for me, that would have to peg it back. It's expensive. Mm. But it, it basically, the downstairs bit is just a posh hotel swimming pool. So however much you guys pay for a local swim, yeah, it, it's expensive, isn't it? £41 per person for an hour and a half. Yeah. To sum up, there are things in there that are broken. Um, the wristbands and the lockers, obviously that's a technical issue, needs fixing, doesn't it? Yeah. The lift out of order, we don't know how long it's been out of order, but again, needs fixing. And there's only two lifts. Yeah. Yeah. They also told us that the showers downstairs, which are the main ones that you use for clean, you know, to freshen up before you, you leave, uh, they only had cold water, they had a plumbing issue yeah. down there. Yes, yeah. so there's no, no showers at the moment. So yeah. we weren't offered a refund or any extension of our time or anything like that. It's still £41 per person for an hour and a half in there and you were timed through the wristband. Yeah, and um, just for context, it's January and it's 2024, just whenever you might be watching this, and yeah. to go to their <laughs> website and check how much it's gonna be for, for you to visit. Um, the other negative I would say is if you, you are doing this as an experience and you want a memento and you want a photograph, obviously there's no photography in there whatsoever and they don't seem to give, there's no ability for them to take a photograph of you if you want a memento. Okay, so that's all the negatives. Yes. What are the positives? The positives is it's a really nice experience. Yes. I will remember swimming on the rooftop yes. with all that steam and you've got coloured lights up there which yeah. is really nice yeah what yeah. would you give it as a cwt trip advisor score okay I've, i have thought about this as well yeah okay. i am going to give it a three out of five i think it is um overpriced and slightly unloved at the moment it just needs a bit of attention and the things that are broken need to be fixed mm. yes i think that's that's fair does it live up to the hype no, because you would never get that picture on the website where they show two romantic people at sunset and them being the only people in the pool. doesn't happen like that. It is busy, um, it's expensive, and there are things wrong with it. So I think I would probably give it a two. Ooh. Slightly disappointing for the amount of money charged. So would you call it a rip-off? Well, I, that, I, I have a problem calling something a rip-off when I know what the price is in advance. I fair don't enough. think that's fair. No, I, agree. I wouldn't go so far as to say it's a rip-off. I've done the experience. Would I do it again? <sighs> no. No? I don't think I would. Ah, see, I said I would. Are you going on your own, mate? Oh, well, if you want to come with me, <laughs> <laughs> let me know in the comments. Pay for me. Yeah. <laughs> have you been before? Have you experienced this as well? If so, when did you come? Leave a little comment. Let other people know. Let us know as well. What was mm. your experience? We'd mm. love to find out. So I think CWT TripAdvisor score is a two and a half <laughs> out of five. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed the video today, then give it a thumbs up. Obviously, it's a difficult one to film because we're not allowed to film in there, but we've done our best and we've tried to give you a fair review. Yeah. I've got nothing more to add, so we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye! Do you think this is an undercover sort of operation that we're doing? And we're gonna we're gonna pull the plug. <laughs> We've just dived straight in there. <laughs> they won't like us for this review, they're gonna call us scum. <laughs> Come on. I think it's time we went. We are going home now. <laughs> we are signing off for real there. So <laughs> hope you've enjoyed this rather weird video. <laughs> we didn't quite know how to tackle it, did we? Join us next time for a really weird video. <laughs> Just one last thing. Yeah. Did you feel like a Roman? <laughs> <laughs> I did, when I was in that Roman steam room. I, yeah. I did, because you, you've got the mosaics on the wall, haven't you? Yeah. And, it, it, you know, it does... I think, I think that part of the experience for me was good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. The rest of the time I just felt like a modern person in a bath. <laughs> <laughs>